fathers have left home in order for their children to get meat and bread. There are so many dehumanizing elements in the welfare system that we are concerned about removing. Ultimately, we are concerned about a guaranteed annual income. And the other thing I think it is very necessary to say is that everybody's on welfare in this country. And when it comes to black people and poor people, we just call it something else. When it's for white people and rich, we call it subsidy. Okay, so here is MLK stating that fathers, black fathers, chose to leave their homes in order for the government to provide the subsidies that they did not want to provide for their children. Either couldn't provide or just didn't want to provide it. So let's dispel with all of this. Um, father, uh, fathers were kicked out the home and the black woman chose the government over their men and all this other crap that's been going on and on and on because people do not know the real history. Fathers, those black fathers chose to leave their home because they did not want to do or have the responsibility of taking care of their families. So they let the government do that. They could have easily chosen to stay with their families and bust their behinds and work together to make sure that their families stayed intact. They chose to leave. The woman didn't kick them out. The government didn't kick them out. They chose this path. Because at the same time, at the very same time that MLK is talking about the, the fathers leaving the home in order for the welfare system to take care of their children and their, and their wives and their, the mothers of their kids. There was another man at this very same time, Elijah Muhammad, that was teaching the black men how to be uh, self-reliant, uh, independent, pool their resources together so they can take care of their wives and children at this very same time. And the black men chose the government. They chose for the government to take care of their, their, their offsprings and so forth. And they chose to leave the home because they did not want to do it. Okay? So let us dispel with this welfare took us out the home because you had options. There were two opposing voices there. That, that, I don't think Elijah Muhammad had a... Um, a uh, political affiliation but Martin Luther King sure was affiliated with the Democratic Party and so therefore you have him advocating or trying to say that um, the stigma of welfare is different from black and white and so forth when you have Elijah Muhammad saying he doesn't want welfare and black people should not be trying to get welfare they should be the black men should pool their resources do work together become independent and take care of their wives and children and as we can see from history we can see which path the black man chose